Hi dear students, this is Mr. Sanjay Kuvar. Welcome back in the online learning series of Chawra English Medium School, Shahada. Dear students, today we are going to learn a poem, It Can Be Done. The poet of this poem is anonymous. It means that the poet is unknown. If the writer doesn't write his own name on his own piece of writing, then it is an example of someone who is an anonymous. Now, let us introduce the given poem. Dear students, in general, we find two group of people in the world. First, the group of people who live their life with the positive attitude. Second, the group of people who live their life with the negative attitude attitudes. The group of people who live their life with the negative attitude, with the negative approach, they always complain that their life is full with difficulties and problems. They always think negatively. They accept defeat before starting their work. And they tell that the work is very difficult for them. It is impossible for them to do it. It cannot be done. Like this, many problems, many complaints we hear from them. On the other hand, the people who think positively never accept defeat before starting their work. They don't give up. They keep on trying and trying in their life. The present poem, it can be done. It is based on the importance of positive attitude in our life. Here, in this poem, the poet describes the man whose negative attitude towards everything stops him from enjoying life. So dear students, let's understand the given poem. Let's first read it. The man who misses all the fun is he who says it can't be done. In solemn pride he stands aloof and greets each venture with reproof. Had he the power he would efface the history of the human race. We would have no radio or motor cars, no streets lit by electric stars, no telegraph nor telephone. We would linger in the age of stone. Last stanza. The world would sleep if things were run by men who say it can't be done. Now dear students, let's study the poem in detail line by line. First two lines. The man who misses all the fun is he who says it can't be done. In the beginning, the poet tells us that the man who says it can't be done misses all the fun in his life. Dear students, we know that our life is full with lots of fun and enjoyment. Different people enjoy their life in different manner. But here in this line, the poet tells us that the man who thinks negatively misses all the fun, all the enjoyment in his life that one gets during the process of working on the new project. Let's read next lines. In solemn pride he stands aloof and greets each venture with reproof. Here in these lines there are some difficult words. Let's understand them, their meaning. In solemn pride means looking very serious. Aloof means separately.
without getting involved in anything venture it means adventure or a dangerous or risky task reproof means negative comments dear students in this lines the poet describes that the man who thinks negatively stands separately he doesn't involve in anything he feels proud on understanding everything on knowing everything and he welcomes each task each project each work with his doubts and negative comments now dear students let's read the next lines had he the power he would efface the history of the human race in this line the poet tells us that if such a man had the power then he would efface the history of the whole world if such man had the power then he would wipe out all the inventions in the world if such a man had the power then there would be no history at all in the world there would be no change in the world now dear students let's read the next lines we would have no radio or motor cars no streets lit by electric stars no telegraph nor telephone we would linger in the age of stone dear students today our life is comfortable easy with the help of science and technology we fulfill today our all the basic needs we have invented motor bikes cars trains aeroplanes television telephone computers mobiles etc nowadays in this difficult situation we are connected each other with mobile phones only the teaching and learning process is happening with this new technology these all the things have made our life very easy and comfortable we can't imagine our life without them but the poet tells us that the man who says it can't be done if he had the power then there would have no inventions we would have no radio or motor car no telegraph nor telephone streets would have no lights we would be in darkness dear students do you know the stone age people dear students the stone age was a broad prehistoric period during which stone was widely used to make stools by the people this was an ancient period of human history which began near about 2.6 million years ago the people who lived in stone age were depend on hunting wild animals they lived in caves they were gathering fruits roots leaves etc they wore animal skins or leaves there were no such facilities which we use today yes their life was very difficult so we would also still be in stone age now let's see the last two lines the world would slip if things were run by men who say it can't be done dear students in this last two lines the poet tells us that if things were run by man who says it can't be done then world would be inactive as if it would be in deep sleep 
and there would be no progress at all in the world. So dear students, what is the central idea of the poem? Yes, keep positive attitude in your life. Never give up. Because nothing is impossible in the world. The word impossible itself says that I am possible. The title of the poem also gives us a positive and motivational message. It tells us that we can do anything in the world. It also suggests that man can do any work with his hard work and perseverance. The present poem is written in rhyming couplet. It means that it has two lines stanzas. In each stanza, first line rhymes with the second line. Now, let's find rhyming words from the poem. They are Fun, done, aloof, reproof, ifes, res, cars, stars. Telephone, stone and last one is run, done.